Hello and welcome to Adventure SMP episode 3. I am Tay, also known as Seashell Vids, your dungeon master, story leader, whatever you want to call me. I don't really care as long as it's not rude. Um, we have our players with us today. Hi everybody, I'm Hey Good. I'll be playing Peebus, who is uh, a very confident level 1 human bard. And uh, I'm having a good day everybody, let's, let's have some good times. Hi everyone, I am Jamie. I will be playing Business Ray, the level one variant human warlock. Hi, I'm Petal, and just like last time, I am playing Groki, the level one plasmoid paladin. All right, let's get into it. So in episode two, the party took a little distraction from going straight into town hall like they were left in episode one and they went out uh, just outside the town to do some mining. Um, Peebus went down into the mines and got several resources while Business Ray spent the entire hour mining trees. Uh, punching trees. Ray, Ray punches trees. Yeah. No. Uh, How to work on those calluses. Grokey just kind of followed a sheep around for an hour. Uh, it did manage to get quite far away. So when... Peebus came back up. Grokey was nowhere to be found. So Business Ray, under the uh, initial thought of Peebus, uh, took out his tinderbox, cast a, a expedious retreat, and ran around lighting the forest on fire. That's it did right. may it did let Grokey find them again. So I guess it was successful. Uh, there is now a forest on fire outside of town, though, with new trees ready to grow. Um, the party then went in and finally went into town hall, where they met AJ, also known as AOKMC, who runs the town hall. Um, he gave them a little bit of information about the group that came in that they're looking for some of the people from. Um, and they went into room 7B, being warned to please stay quiet because the people in room 8B are having a meeting. They didn't quite listen because Business Ray did parkour his way in, shattering the glass. Um, and in response, uh, the person who possibly was in charge shattered the whiteboard uh, and the trio that was inside having their meeting uh, ran away leaving a shattered window a shattered whiteboard and a mess for the party to clean up it was also partially their fault um, Ray now has the whiteboard in his pocket uh, and they did get um, kind of kicked out of town hall at least for the foreseeable future and that's where our party left, was leaving Town Hall. Hello everyone and welcome to Adventure SMP Episode 3. I am so excited for this for you guys. There is a single Minecraft mechanic that I need to talk about and it's armor. Uh, Minecraft armor and D&D armor, I decide, at least for my game, is stacked. I think it's fun to let players get tanky. I think it's funny and there's other things to do um, that don't involve like attacking players that I enjoy doing, especially in fights and that sort of thing. Um, so I don't care if they get all tanky. But um, for... The armor, leather, chain, and gold all give a plus one. Um, iron gives a plus two. Diamond gives a plus three. Netherite a plus four. If you do partial armor, you take whatever your highest gear is and subtract one. So, like, if they have, like, a netherite helmet and diamond gear for the rest of it, Netherite is plus four, so it would be three. Four minus one is three. Um, if they have a netherite... And then, like, leather armor, it's also just going to be a plus three. That's to not get too into the nitty-gritty of, like, well, a helmet does plus this in Minecraft and a chest plate does plus this. It's just to simplify it. But I'm really, really excited, and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Let's get into it. Where are we headed to, party? Let's go to the map. We're trying to find um, 
Tubbo, right? Yes. All right. That was the name that I gave you. I'm very flattered with myself for remembering that name, frankly. I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, and then do you all want to go uh, check out this map so we can go find some tubs? Yes. Yeah. Sounds like, a, sounds like a good plan. Seeing as that's where, where we should be getting our next clues. Yeah. All right. So you guys head to the map and you get to the server map. Um, It takes you a moment. I'm not going to make anyone roll because you guys are not necessarily on a time crunch um, to find where Tubbo's area is. Um, And you see that the tall mountain that you could first see when you were stepping out of the first building you guys came out of back in episode one, um, you saw you saw an avian flying towards a mountain and at the base or like a little bit up on the mountain is Tubbo's area. Um, you can see on the map that there's definitely one big building with a bunch of smaller buildings around it in the snow. Cool. Do we want to just walk right up to the whatever looks like the front front dealio? Yeah, I mean, unless there's another way, and I don't see why we would have to be sneaky, unless uh, rumors of the damage we have caused have already spread, and we are now going to be banned (laughs) from absolutely every establishment in this area. I forgot that that's how this could work. That's right. (laughs) Our (laughs) actions catch up with us. Um, Can I do a real quick redstone check to see if I I notice any, like, traps or or, or, or boobies? Are you guys heading straight up there? Uh, I figured, yeah. We're still at the... Okay, cool. Um, I... Before we do any checks for traps, um, this is... This is a decent bit away. It's not the furthest away in the map. Like, Peebus' area is... Peebus' area is pretty far off, but, like, Tubbo's isn't too bad. Uh, but you guys spent most of the day in the town hall and mining and stuff. Um, so... I think we're gonna get... I wanna... I wanna roll... Probably survival from somebody, I don't care who, um, to see if y'all can find a safe way up there before nighttime. Ooh, that's gonna be an 11 for my survival. I don't know if somebody wants to roll better. Well, I wanted to, but that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine is also worse than an 11. <laughs> So you guys are heading straight there. Uh, when the sun begins to dip, well, you are at the base of the mountain. Um, there are, um, like, you can see lights in the distance on, like, either side, presumably other people's areas. Um, what would you guys like to do? Tubbo's area is still... I mean, you could get there during the night if you walk during the night. You can see it up the mountain a bit, but it's still a bit of a climb. It's and it's getting dark. Yes. What's the players? Do we know what the players' sleep percentage is on the server? Like, if one person goes to sleep, does it advance through the night, or does night happen no matter what? Roll me a history check, Peebus only. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a twenty-one. Cool. Um. So you know that unless somebody asks for night to happen. Unless something weird is happening, you need like about half of the people to sleep. Okay. Um, so unless someone asks for night or there's some weird event going on or something like that, uh, night is pretty much always skipped. Okay, cool, cool. And I and Peebus knows that. Yes. Cool. Uh, well, in that case, I, I just go like, watch this or something cool. And I, I take some of my cobblestone and I build just a little hut you know, just a little guy, just a cute little guy for us all to, like, be inside of. Um, but I leave a space to see, like, the sky so I can see when night, it, like, if night passes. Um, mm-hmm. And I wait inside of that little hut with, with my party members, if they so choose. Um, and we wait to see if night gets skipped. Anybody object to being in the hut? Nope. In the hut sounds good. Cool. So you guys watch... Um... Does your window face sunset or sunrise or just like out? Let's say it faces sunset, faces east. Cool. Um, so you guys are, you mean, wait, sunset or sunrise? Sunset's in the. Yeah, well, I guess we'd be watching the sunset in the and then if night gets skipped, then the sun would immediately start rising in the east, right? Yeah. 
So are you facing sunrise or sunset? Because you said set and then it's in the east. Oh, sunrise. <laughs> OK, cool. Um, so you interaction. guys watch as uh, the moon begins to rise in front of you. Uh, and then suddenly the moon is the sun. Cool. And it's sunrise. Amaze balls. So then I tear down, I tear down the cobblestone hut. And uh, here we are again. Do I get a long rest? No. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Do I get a short rest for the time it's spent waiting? No. Oh. Not unless you guys want to sit for an hour. Hey, guys, I'm going to make us some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. You get, a, you get a short rest, and what are you making for breakfast? Wait, what do you have to make for breakfast? Uh, I have loaves of bread in Minecraft, and I have D&D &D trail rations. Cool. Yeah, so I'm you basically going to use it like a granola sprinkle on the bread and make toast. Cute. Okay. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, you make breakfast, so you get a short rest in. My spell slot back. Warlocks go. <laughs> You're ridiculous. All right. You guys continuing up in this mountain? Yeah. Yes. Um, also, go ahead and get rid of three pieces of bread between y'all. I don't care if you each get rid of one, if... Get rid of some bread. I will spend all three for my short rest. Cool. Aww. Because food will come into play, I just won't tell you how yet. Oh no! <laughs> Concern. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, cool. So, as you guys travel up the mountain, um, it begins, it turns, like, very snowy. Um, none of it is snow that you can fall into. Somehow you're walking on top of all of this snow, which is like, cool. It's a weird concept for he us humans, us players. But uh, for you Minecrafters, you Minecraft beings, this is like, all right, just be careful of the snow you fall in. I guess, um, yeah, none of us are wearing leather boots or anything, are we? No, you're not. I'm not going to I'm not going to make any chat. No, it's just it's solid snow right now. OK. Um, Can we say as flavor as once we get into colder temperatures, there's like a thin layer of ice that forms over Grokies. And so like if ever uh, they need to like get something from their inventory, they just like have to like shatter a little bit of ice just I to get through. Just like a very thin layer. That's that cool. I like that. Cool. So you guys head up and snow begins to form as you are traveling up this mountain and then a few scattered trees. Um, and then distantly ahead, there's the start of a town, uh, presumably Tubbo's area. As you walk closer to it, a big building appears in the back, a mansion. And you are able to head to the mansion. Do you stop anywhere along the way or just straight to the mansion? I mean, I say I, I, I'm, I'm down to go straight to the mansion, you know? Yeah. We got breakfast in our bellies. We got some full of bread, you know? Yeah, if there's nothing else that we need to stop for along the way, I'd say going straight to the mansion is a good option. Cool. We've had great luck going straight to the center of things to deal That's with things. Right. So business ready is in. <laughs> um, okay. As you approach the mansion, um, you notice one of the doors to the mansion open, and out comes a little zombie piglin in a suit. Oh, buddy! Um, he is, he has a little ball in one hand, like a little toy ball, um, and he runs down the steps, um, and gets, like, three quarters of the way of it down before he just, like, stops in place and, like, stares at you. This is a child zombie piglin. He's a little tiny boy. A little guy! Oh. Who are you? Uh, Why are you at my house? Oh, hey, little bud. Hey, little guy. Um, we heard there was a party, which is something that, that big people do. Uh, and we heard... You think I don't party? I think you I I think you party as much as you think you party, that's for sure. <laughs> Why are you at my house? There's no party here. Go away. Um, we're looking for Tubbo. Is Tubbo here? Why do you want my dad? Tubbo is your dad. Okay. Learning some stuff. Tubbo is my dad. Gathering information. Okay. Why do people normally want your dad? There's a lot of reasons. Um uh, what are the ones you find funniest? Uh, none of them. Oh. Well, that sounds boring, doesn't it, kid? All right, how much do I want to mess this kid up? <laughs> like, because oh, no. I was thinking, 
Well, so I assume... No! Oh, oh. No! Enchantment <laughs> magic is bad! Well, I mean, not not physically, but, you know, I could I could use Charm Person, I could Animal Friendship, although I assume their intelligence is more than four. Um, <laughs> yes. I could also disguise myself, I guess they would see me disguise myself as, as Tubbo. Disguise myself as the kid's dad. Do you know what Tubbo looks like? I guess I don't, that's right. Damn. <laughs> well, Peavis might. Peavis might. I'd make, a, I'd make a history check for that one if you wanted to. Okay, okay. That's an 18. An 18. So yeah, you know what Tubbo looks like. <laughs> I disguise myself as Tubbo. I guess. <laughs> well, actually, no, 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 no. First, I like, where, where are we physically? We're at like the steps, right? Yeah, you're at the bottom of the steps and then like a quarter of the way up is this little okay. zombie piglin. Um, Ray was already trying to make friends with him, so Ray's going to distract the kid, not knowing he's distracting nice. the kid. I was already planning on this, but I just want to use prestidigitation to do, like, magic tricks like you can with it. Like, hey, I pull a coin from behind your ear. Hey, card tricks. This kid is unamused by <laughs> I Stop love this child. Mind. Well, so I love this child so much. So Peebus, like, slowly, like, descends the stairs, like, okay, well, I guess... You sure told me how what the deal is. I guess I'm gonna go. There's nothing for me here. And as soon as I like obscure from view, like behind a tree or something, like I immediately just disappear behind the tree and immediately out the other side comes Tubbo. Or me disguise I disguise cool. self and disguise myself as Tubbo. Um, so so you what you look like now is uh you got a bright blonde hair, blue eyes, um a green shirt. Well, does it change your outfit too? Uh yes, I can. Okay. Uh green shirt, blue jeans is what you've seen Tabo most commonly in. Um with little little tiny horns sticking out the side. Oh, buddy. Like little little baby horns. Yeah, so you come out the tree looking like that, not your villager self. And I go, hello there, uh, son, realizing I didn't get the kid's name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you being so mean to our lovely guests here for? What's going on with that? We should be kind to our guests and people. What, what could I do for you fine folks? What'd you do with your jacket? Is that the kid asking? Yeah, that's the kid asking. Uh, I lost it while I was elitraing at an elitra course. Oh, when did you do that? You just gave me the ball. I did it between when I gave you the ball and this very moment. Oh, yeah? Where'd you go? Who'd you see? I went... <laughs> <laughs> to the this town kid, hall. This kid does not fall for stuff, and there's reason for it. I went to the town hall where I met Grian, and we flew around, during which excursion I lost said jacket. Yeah, who are you? I'm your dad, Tubbo. No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> maybe, is, maybe this is maybe this is Tubbo's evil twin. I'm no. Uh, maybe it this is. This kid pulls out a gold sword. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I really didn't want to have to do this. Uh, I cast charm person on the kid. Uh, okay. It, how does that work? Uh, wisdom DC thirteen. Okay. Let me before I roll. Give this kid stats. That is probably best to the, better than me blasting a kid. Because that, that's okay. probably <laughs> option. He's got a dirty 20. He's not. Shit! <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, well, all right, Dad. Uh, <laughs> this kid fuck. is not pulling for your stuff. Okay. Uh, in that case. I what do you want? Okay. All right. I'm going I'm to I'm level with you here, kid. And I, I D cast. Decast. I uncast um, disguise self. God, I just burned two spell slots for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, fuck. And we don't get long rest at night. No. Well, we. I suppose we could if we. I don't know. Uh. I, okay. I'm gonna level with your kid. What's 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 your name? What's your name? I don't know if I should give that to you. That's a fair point. My name is Peavis. 
Um, and we are looking for missing people. Is boo big scary stuff? Missing people. Um, like who? Uh, like Princess Snicklefritz. I don't know who that no, is. No, Princess. Uh, Grookey, Grookey. Uh, something, something about snacks. Something about food. Uh, fruit snacks. Prin- yes, that's that's what it was. Okay, that's I don't right. know. I don't know a fruit snacks. Uh, also, and I like, I kind of like use Grookey's arm as a cheap seat. I like kind of peek <laughs> over and try to get a glimpse. Yeah, I just like hold it out. And I go and Aylin. Okay, don't and- know them. Uh, and why do I care? Uh, okay, kid. They're missing, and you could be next. Where's your dad? Do you know where your dad is? Yeah. Well, where's your dad? Then we got to make sure he's not missing. He's not. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. When did you see them? <laughs> um. So, are you? Did you? Was it obvious that you were like looking off of Grokey's arm? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have more? Can I look? Yeah. I kind of like hold out my arm. For he holds the kid. his sword as he walks closer, like fully ready to like hit someone if he needs to. Uh, but like definitely looks and just kind of like looks. Boo! He goes, um, my dad's this way. And just total shift. Oh, buddy. Total Aww. shift. <laughs> um, and he. Looks a little bit panicked and starts running up the steps. Aww. Move <laughs> my keyboard back into my pocket, into my jacket. You wait, you put what back into your... My what, keyboard. You, oh, your keyboard. You were ready to cast some. Um, <laughs> do y'all chase after him? Yeah, I chase him Absolutely. totally. Absolutely. Cool. So this kid bolts into this mansion, uh, leaves the door wide open, and just starts running through the mansion. Um... Are y'all chasing, like, following book in? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying I'm, to see anything. I'm just okay. trying to keep up with the kid as well. Cool. So he goes, new, 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 like, just like zips around um, and ends up out, like, just throws open a door into a bedroom um, and just yells, Dad! <laughs> and out of the, presumably the closet, walks, uh, as I described earlier, blonde hair, blue eyes. Um, he's quite short, little, like, little tiny horns sticking out, but he has on, like, a big winter jacket. Um, and he runs out, and he kneels down, and he just goes, Michael, what's wrong? And he scoops up the little zombie piglin, and who has dropped his sword at this point, and Michael goes, where's Boo? Boo's missing? And looks very upset by this news. Aww. What, what, is he still holding the ball, or is the ball... Like, no, the ball's gone. The, the ball's gone. The ball's bouncing wistfully down the steps. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> then uh, I say hi, uh, uh, Tubbo, I presume. Uh, I'm Peebus. Do you remember me from all the, the shit that you stole from me in episode one? Do you remember that? Um, well, I guess it was before episode one. But um, I didn't ste- steal thing. It's neither here nor there. Neither, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. It doesn't matter. Did you tell my kid about Boo? Yes. Why? Why? I wasn't telling him. Technically, no. We told him about some other ones, and he read the notice about Boo. Yeah, he put it together. He's a smart kid. He is a smart kid. But I was trying to keep the Boo's missing from him. We needed to talk to you, and he, he, wasn't, he wasn't letting us through, so we figured telling him the truth would be the best, rather than, yeah, trying okay. to come up with... I mean, I see, but, like, you told a kid that his dad's missing? Wait, the kid's dad is Boo? Yeah, my husband. Oh, shit, I didn't put that together. <laughs> uh, fuck, that's dark. Um, As previous stated, we did not actually tell this kid that true. Boo was missing. The kid is okay. a curious they kid. That on their own. You guys are looking for Boo? Yeah, we're trying really, to find all. Yeah. yeah, we're looking we're for everybody. We're trying to find all of the missing people. Okay, what do you need to know? First of all, we found this in one of the last places that they were seen, and it is in your writing. It says party, so we were wondering if you could tell us what what this is about. 
Um, so he's on one side, he's holding Michael, who is just like clinging to his dad. Buddy. Very sad child now. Buddy. Um, <laughs> and in the other hand, he reaches out to take the paper. He takes a quick little peek and goes, oh, yeah, we were uh, we were planning a party. Um, so like we I, we ended the meeting, we were planning a party in that meeting um, and we were ending the meeting. Um and I was like, yeah, boo, I'm going to go check on Michael. I'm going to make sure he's doing good, you know, see what's up. And then um, you go with everyone else, find find the location where we're going to have the party um, and then come get me and we can bring Michael. Um, and he never came back. Do you know what direction he went in? So they we left from town hall. Um, so I guess I'm kind of we're kind of like north northeast a little bit uh they headed northwest but god there's so much land do you know what kind of location you were looking for like were you gonna have a beach themed party or like a snow themed party or something um i mean the biggest thing was just to find an open area uh because we I mean, Foolish was really good. He wanted to, like, he's such a good builder. Have you seen his builds? Like, he's a good builder, and he wanted to, like, build... He wanted to build a custom building. Like, one specifically for this party. Um, like, when he launched the ball pits and all the games? Yeah, with everything in it. Um, so that it had, like, a cool exterior that you could come out to, and then inside was, like, themed. Um, so just a big open space. That was the that was the big thing. Okay. Well, I do recall one big open space on that map. Looking at it. Yeah, it was all. It was my place. And I look over at Peebus. And I a, yeah. si- a single tear falls down my 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 cheek. <laughs> I mean, we weren't gonna take over someone's area. Babe, we're gonna take all my stuff so- though probably take all your stuff. Who took your stuff? Someone took all my stuff. I don't know. I'm just saying. I had stuff. Now there's no stuff. Someone took all my stuff. Wait, when did this happen? I had some time between when I when I died and I left for an expedition and it took me quite a long time to come back. I died. Mm-hmm. Not proud of it. It was lava. Don't dig straight down. And then I come back and not only is my stuff gone, but somebody updated the map to show that all my stuff was gone, which stings. Oh, yeah. So at least for the map, they did like make it so that like people's bases like auto update like every like day or two. Um, So that one might not have been someone like going to your space and being like, yo, look at this. We broke it. (laughs) Um, That like genuinely was probably just like the the auto update feature they added. Um, A likely story. I mean, what? No. Okay. Hey, no, look at me. I believe you. I believe you, and we're going to move past it as a community. But I will find out who took my stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, I know I didn't, and no one in the group should have. Um, I can't think of anyone who would. Like, I'm sure there's someone out there, but, like, I don't know him. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll find out while we're sleuthing about these missing peoples. Maybe, that's, maybe we'll figure yeah. it out then. Um, so how long ago... Three weeks. Three weeks. Wow. Um, well, you've been lying to this kid about his dad being missing for three weeks. Well, no. See, Boo I goes out. I, we thought we were the jerk. See, here's the deal: is Boo <laughs> goes out on like long adventures a lot of the time, and I I have a couple people. I don't know where they are either. Uh, they haven't kept in communication like they were supposed to. But I have like a couple people that I've been like paying to like go find to try and find Boo. Um, so it's like not unusual that he's gone for this long. It's not um, unusual. Fa- Sorry. <laughs> the fact that like he hasn't communicated uh, when he was supposed to, that's that's where the problem is. OK, well, here, how about how about this? Tubbo, uh, can I call you Tubbo? I, that's my name. Yeah, yeah. OK, good. I'm just going to call you Tubbo. Um, <laughs> we are, are like super down to go look for for um boo and all the other missing people that sounds like a great time however we have no gear we're like we got no armor we got like stone tools and you know 
maybe, just maybe, we would have a higher likelihood of finding your husband if we were to get dripped out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I don't have a ton of gear because I don't You're in a mansion. keep a ton of spare gear. I don't, yeah, I... I build cool things with, like, my husband and I. Like, we have cool things. But, like, we don't keep a ton of spare gear and stuff. But I got a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fair. Here, let's go. Um, And he, he you know, slides past y'all out of the bedroom and starts walking down the hallway. Um, So I'm assuming y'all follow him. Yes. Yep. Cool. Well, I do. I don't want to speak um, to you, but... <laughs> So he leads you all to just a little room. It has uh, some armor stands set up and then some like, you know, uh, there's a data pack that lets you like hang tools on um, what I call the like hooks. Oh, like, yeah. Tripwire yeah, yeah, trip hooks. hooks. Uh, so that's that's definitely installed on this on this server. So there's like sets of armor and then tools around as well hung up. Um, and most of it genuinely most of it is like gold gear. Um Piglin. Yeah. Right. Um, there's like one set of iron armor. Um, there is a handful of diamond tools. Okay. And then like a diamond helmet on one of them, but it's mostly gold. Okay. So who who among us? This is this is Eric talking. Uh, mm. who, who's probably like our more fighter-y person? Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, that's probably about right. <laughs> I croaky actually. I as like a paladin, I'm pretty well equipped for fighting. Nice. I, I am definitely a backline warlock. Cool. And I'm more of a a, a mischievous little scamp. I mean, um, actually, I should correct. I did randomize absolutely every single one of my stats and not yeah, organize right. them for functionality. So I actually do have like higher like intelligence and wisdom than I do have strength. <laughs> but my armor <laughs> class is that. really good. Um. All right. So so uh, tubs. Uh, tubby. Tub. Tubber. Tubberines. Tub. I, can I call you? I'm. I'm gonna call tubbo. you. Yeah. Tub. Okay. Tub. Let's tub. Let's stick with tub. Let's yeah. stick with tub. <laughs> Um, what are you willing to give us? I mean, you can have, you can have the diamond and the iron. Um, I mean, I guess you can have the gold too, but it's like, it's gold armor. Michael, Michael really likes it like more for the looks than it's really used. Um, none of it's good. It's just kind of like our spare gear. That's like, yeah, it's here. We can like enchant it later if we need to. Um, I don't even know if any, I don't think any of it, I mean, okay, so like the, the tools have some enchantments, but that's villager enchantments. Yeah, I mean, take what, like, just like, don't take all of it, you know, like. Okay. Here you go. As long as you find boo, you know, like, that's my, that's my top priority, really. Okay. Um, so would it be safe to say that we just like take as much as we can? like all the best armor and all the best tools. Yeah. Cool. So that gets you one set of iron gear. Okay. Uh, diamond helmets. And then a set of gold gear and then gold chest plate, pants, boots. So that's three sets of armor. And then there are three pack axes, three diamond swords. I guess there's three diamond axes too. Uh, they are enchanted. Uh, the axes have efficiency one and unbreaking one. Sweet. The pickaxes have unbreaking two. Mechanics question at this point. How does the Minecraft armor and the D&D armor interact? Um, the Minecraft armor gives you pluses to your AC. On top of your D armor? Yeah. Leather armor is if it's all you've got it's a plus one otherwise it's plus zero it's leather armor um gold and chain meal are plus one iron is plus two diamonds plus three for a full set so if it's not a full set it's like so like if you do like the diamond helmet and iron gear it'll be a plus two Okay, so we basically wear the Minecraft stuff over our D&D &D stuff, and it can help, and we don't need proficiencies. Yeah. 
Gotcha. Awesome. I can. I, I will wear whatever is left over for me because I don't need it. But uh, business way will take any any uh, increases to the business efficiency. Yeah, my armor class is already insanely high due to my the chain mail armor that I have plus the uh, plus one shields that you gave me in episode one. Oh, so yeah. you guys can have priority <laughs> on armor and stuff. I mean, the other side is if you want to be tanked, I don't care. I can <laughs> work tank. around it. My AC is already at an 18. I love Sweet. that. I bet we can get that to a 20 here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, if you guys, like, I want to give you guys priority because you guys are presumably more squishy than Groki is. Um, I'm so squishy. So <laughs> squishy, squishy in the low, <laughs> low, like, in the easier to get hit point. I in terms of in terms of actual physicality, Groki is definitely the squishiest. I do love how our tag is squishy. <laughs> so I guess I'll uh I my AC right now is uh uh twelve. So with the iron armor that would put me at fourteen. Was there diamond armor as well involved? There is a diamond hat. So combined diamond with whatever. Hat. So if you do like the diamond hat and the rest gold, like it had, uh, that's still, it's just going to be a plus two. Okay. Yeah, we'll do gold and then a diamond helmet. Fucking dripped out for plus two AC. Okay, so then, Peebus, you gained the advancement. Cover me in diamonds. Hey! And you get 1,000 more Minecraft XP. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Chuck a chuck chuck uh uh so so what suits left for uh croaky uh there's one set of iron armor and a set of gold armor one is plus one one is plus two um i'll just take the iron because i do like the idea of my pally just being a, a a brick wall so then you want the gold that's plus one then if you wanting pedal to have oh, the like iron yeah iron's better Oh, then yeah, then yeah, I'll take the the shine. Okay, giant. so that gives Groki, uh, your communicator's buzz, suit up. Um, you now have iron armor on. Uh, I'm assuming you put it on. Um, oh yeah, I. <laughs> you get plus two to your AC. <laughs> so beefy, it is so hard to hit me. <laughs> My AC is now twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Level one AC twenty, love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Groki also gains one thousand Minecraft experience, so you should be awesome. up to three thousand Minecraft experience. Yes. Cool. Also, can we flavor uh, Groki's high AC as just being like slime? It's hard to permanently damage it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm here for that. <laughs> I'm I'm picturing like Boo from Dragon Ball Z, where like. He'll get hit, but it just like goes bloop back together. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, awesome. Okay, so you guys have armor. Um, Michael sees uh, Ray put on the gold armor, and Peebus put on the partial gold armor and just huffs angrily. What? Michael. <laughs> we'll bring it back after we find your dad, okay? If you don't break it. Hey, uh, I got I to gotta put something to the group here right now. This kid, Michael, seem, seems like a special kid. He, he's spirited and smart and, like, you know, knows what he's about. I'm, uh, do you want to see, uh, see if we can take Michael with us? Yeah. Just yeah, saying. I love this kid. I love this kid. I'm on board. <laughs> Kid's amazing. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? No, that was that was Eric to the group. Okay. I just didn't want to okay. bring a kid on okay. the adventure unless everybody was on board with it. Yeah, because it I... is a pig child, but it is still a child. <laughs> well, in that case, I like Peebus now kitted out. You know, goes to Michael. Is Michael? I was picturing. Is Michael wearing like a crown? Did you say? No. Nope. For some reason, when I picture piglins, I always picture them with crowns. Um gold and so He's i like a little baby zombie piglin i like crouch down to michael's level He's still in tubbo's arms 
Oh, I like crouch <laughs> uh, up to Michael's level, and I say, "Hey, Michael, you seem like a like a cool cat, a yeah. cool pig." Um, and I can see that he's like a little scared, maybe. No, and he's I, not. He's he's in his dad's arms. He's good. He's aw, just a little buddy. sad. He's a little sad. And I say, "What were what were you doing? What were you doing this morning?" Um, How's your day been? I mean. I, I woke up and I had breakfast and then I saw my dad and he gave me a ball and I asked if I could go play outside with it and I was going to go play in the village with it. And then he ran into us. Destiny yeah. called. No. Yes, it did. That's what, what that was. And I bet you didn't think when you woke up this morning that you were going to go on a real cool adventure with some I adventure party people. Who's coming? You're coming with us. You want to come with us? You want to go on an adventure? You want to come help Tubbo, find your dad? Tavo speaks up before Michael says anything. He goes, you want to take my kid with you? He's a cool kid. He's yeah, confident. Yeah, he is. He's a child. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a real you're hard argument. You're trying to take my to... kid with you. Uh, but here, counter argument, Tavo. <laughs> Can we please take your kid with us? You know, you cannot take my kid with you. Uh, we promise, we promise we'll be real, really careful with him. You want to take my child with you on your adventure to go find my husband? Yes. You're no. more familiar with your husband than we are. He would be a great asset. That's true. I know nothing about your husband. Do you know anything about his husband? I don't know. I don't Do you, know anything. I don't know. I, I don't know. He goes on long adventures. Got nothing. You're not taking my child to go find Boo. No. Okay, one more time, though. Can we no. please take your child? Okay, that's fine. That's fair. I already used You're not charm. taking your kid with you on an adventure. Not I've, my kid. I've burned all my spell slots on, on trying to fool the kid, <laughs> so I don't have anything. <laughs> spell, Tubba? Yeah, I was going to try to charm him. Because the kid... Is Michael on board? How does Michael feel about this? Is yeah, I, how, what's Michael? Can I insight Michael on this? Because I still got to play. Yeah, inside Michael. Uh, that'll be my first nat 20. Hey! Oh! Let's go! How's <laughs> Michael feel? So, so, Michael is, like, very intrigued. And is kind of like, I could kick butt. You're right, Tubbo. We totally won't take your child with us, and we totally won't meet them at the tree out front when we leave. Yeah, um, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Leave my leave. <laughs> second time today. Get out of my house. This is the second time today. <laughs> <laughs> I think he that was yesterday. It we're we're, it we're two days second in a row. time within two the same twenty four hours. Yeah. Bad in a thousand on getting kicked out of places. <laughs> and Tubbo does Tubbo does brandish an axe at this point. Now. Okay, so we're like uh, it has turned a little hostile. You're trying to take his persuade his kid to come with you. I don't know. You're you reading the situation this right, first, but I um, think I maybe remember, we should leave. <laughs> I don't remember rolling persuasion. I didn't try to persuade him to do nothing. I just said a simple fact. Yeah. We're not going to take the child, and we definitely won't take anyone who meets us at the tree. Yeah, in like 10 minutes. That's definitely uh, not going to You're going to leave Snowchester. You're, no, uh, fully leave. Is Snowchester uh, the I, name of the... If I see you... Yeah, it's my town. It's my area. It's a very cool um, name. If I see you again in my area, you're not going to live to tell the tale. Well, well, then how are we just going to, like, I guess we'll just send... Boo back then we won't drop him off hand delivered Amazon Prime style. No, no, you can you can drop him off at the in Snowchester at the edge of it and you can leave. Okay. All right, we're gonna leave now. Um we'll see ya we'll see ya never. Yeah. Um, I think that's the best. We'll see you never. Everyone here is so rude. Um <laughs> missing and you wait what if we took your child too <laughs> the child <laughs> knows that's more a very valid response <laughs> okay well we're gonna go on this adventure perhaps with uh somebody who decided to meet us at the tree but that's not up to us you know that's up to fate um and we will bid you adieu thanks for the gear goodbye 
awesome. And I, um, and I, and I leave. I guess I should, because I don't know if Michael would try and meet you off the tree. He's not stupid. Like, he knows what's up, I feel he like. He definitely <laughs> knows what's up. Tubble also probably knows what's up. What would would potentially trust his child not to go with strangers? You could roll for it. See what I'm gonna, they use there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll at disadvantage to see if Michael joins y'all. It's a luck check. So if he passes the check, then he if comes? he passes if he passes he joins y'all. Okay. Because that's what y'all are interested in. The DC is gonna be thirteen. <laughs> Come on. So it's unlikely. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Michael, Michael. Oh, they're both sexist. Son of a... Uh. Okay, I'm a little bit like, I was going to let it happen if it was going to happen, but like, I'm a little bit relieved. I don't want to make a stat block for this kid. That's true. <laughs> there was going to be a coming of age tale. Yeah. And also, I love also, those. I was kind of. I was gonna try and find a way for him to get gone too. I don't need a DMPC, thank you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just watch. One of these days, we're going to adopt an NPC. I would have probably like immediately cut. So here's the deal. I need. I need. I need you to come play someone who was an NPC now is a PC. <laughs> <laughs> First guest episode three because or episode four whatever because y'all adopted a kid. It's happening. <laughs> oh my god, a kid who was already adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Having more parents never hurts. Yeah, right. It sounds like it does. In fact, actually, sound like kidnapping though. Um, <laughs> So, y'all leave Snowchester. Do you hang out at the tree for 10 minutes or do you? My back's really sore. I'm just going to have to sit down for a minute. And, like, I just, I just, we're just going to have to, I just got to lean here for just, just a minute. Okay, you're lucky I rolled blow. If I rolled, I rolled another luck check to see if Tubbo came to check to see if you guys hung out at the tree. He didn't. He's focused on Michael. So, would you say that we took. A short rest at this tree. Would you would you say that? Short, short. You guys yes. can take a short rest. Um, birds don't get spell slots back on a short rest though. Shit. That's a warlock thing. You need a long rest. I do need a long rest, don't I? I just clicked the button and nothing happened. Damn. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah, I only have one spell slot. I just get to, you know, use it again after a cup of coffee and a Kit Kat. <laughs> Oh, where would you guys like to go next now that you've been kicked out of Snowchester? We're really good at getting kicked out of places. Huh? <laughs> you guys really yeah, are. we really are. This is giving me some like Taz Balance vibes <laughs> with how our interactions it's, with NPCs have gone. It's giving it's giving me like always sunny in a way. Where like every situation <laughs> we get into, we get we get thrown out of because we're terrible. What's your situation? Coming into these situations, I'm not expecting to throw y'all out. That's not my intent. Just do it to and ourselves. And then y'all do stuff, and I go, "Hmm, actually, I don't think, I don't think that's good." <laughs> that's what actually. would happen. <laughs> um, so Tubbo said that Boo went northwest to look for a location. That was the that was. So he said that the plan was for the group to go northwest to try and find things, uh, to try and find like an open space. To have their and party. We, oh, we did. Did we find out who else was in the group or did we get kicked out before then? I mean, there was confirmation back at uh, Town Hall that the people that you have missing posters for. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Princess Fruit Snack and Linguini are not a part of the group. Everybody else that you have, the, the other, what, five, six people that you have, six people that you have missing poster signs for um, are there. Can I roll history to see if I am aware of any parties like this having occurred in the past to perhaps know more about like what they were looking for? Um, sure. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a history. That's an eight. An eight. Um, you know, people like to party sometimes. People do. People do. You that know, do. um, yeah, people like to party. Sometimes you just need a cool party building. So I guess, do y'all want to just head northwest and look for signs of people do a cool, like, tracking mission type deal? Yeah, 
Sounds good to me. Sweet. So I guess we head northwest. Wonderful. Um, so you are starting um, in a, what's it called? A taiga. Or the snowy taiga, excuse me, which is, you know, where there's the trees and the snow and the, that's the biome that Sabo set up snow chester in. So heading northwest, um, the first thing you do is you get past the mountain that you're on. So you get past the mountain, you get down, and it turns into a forest, like a generic forest similar to the one you guys went mining in before. Um, And it's expansive. It is, um, you guys probably spend a good two-thirds of the day um, having left Snowchester and then making it on your journey to the start here. So you get to the edge um, of this forest as it begins to turn nighttime again. So there are two things that you could do. There was talks of wanting a long rest for the spell slots back. Um, So if you would like to get that back, the way that long rests are going to work is you have to sleep through the Minecraft night. Or or excuse me, not sleep through the Minecraft night. Okay, so we just like hang out. So you have to like rest. You have to like sleep through it, but like not Minecraft sleep, not where it skips today. Okay, okay, okay. Um, So I guess I take some of those handy dandy cobblestone and I make a little hut, a nice little hut guy. And uh, and the return I'm return ins- of the hut. I'm inside the hut now. Okay. So are you guys just going to take a long rest inside the hut? Are you going to keep watch? Are there any holes where you can see out to see when it's day? What is... What's your hut look like? What is your plan for the night? I guess, yeah. So I'll do, it'll be two blocks high with one, just one block little window. So hopefully nothing can get in, but we can still see out if we have to. And uh, I mean, I don't really have anything like that I need to do. Um, I'm going to pop down my uh, my crafting table. Um, and I'm going to make myself a bucket. I'm going to use three of my iron to make a bucket. Um, okay, so let me double check what I put down as the rule for, because I'm assuming that you're wanting like, um, are you wanting like a magical bucket sort of? Yeah, well, so you have water buckets have magical properties when used uh, to land in this water, you'll take no fall damage and it contains up to five gallons of water. So are you wanting like a Minecraft bucket? Yeah, I'm assuming. OK, um, so the way that I'm going to have things like that, where like there's like regular buckets and there's Minecraft buckets is you have to use an enchanting table, Minecraft items and one level of Minecraft XP to make it the magical version of it. And what is the um, magical to distinguish version between the two? Um, so basically what it means is, is you can use it. You can get a bucket of lava. You can get a bucket of milk from a cow. You can get a bucket of water. So like being able to do like the Minecraft stuff with it mm-hmm. and then being able to, if you want the magical Minecraft bucket, um, it then allows you, you can do, if you're falling, you can do a parkour check and see if you can land a water bucket clutch if it's at the ready. Okay. That sort of thing. So it opens that up. If you want just a normal bucket, you can do just a normal bucket. Um, yeah. But there's also the magical item, Minecraft bucket. Okay, I'll just do a regular old bucket from now. Go from now. It seems like a useful thing to have. And uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, cool. So you guys do that. Otherwise, you wanna, you're looking for a long rest? Yeah. Yeah. Sound good. Uh, are you doing any watches or anything like that or just sleeping? Uh, Gro- Groki can take take watch for a bit. You so don't nothing have that, to. I just want there's to There's nothing I, I need to restore. Uh, I'm at full health. I do not have spells yet. Um, yeah, we just not have to not take a level of exhaustion. Yeah, so I as long as I get some sleep, then I'm... I'm good to I'm good to keep watch. Yeah, and for we a should bit. be pretty safe. No, there are no Minecraft mobs that can get through a one block opening, right? Except for a baby zombie, but they can't jump two blocks, so that should be safe. Spiders can't. 
So yeah, we should be pretty safe too. Cool. We are going to hear a lot of <laughs> clink. Cool. So y'all sleep through the night. You get a long rest in. Hey, I like it. You took the precautions to stay safe, so we're not going to do anything with it. Um, <laughs> I will have you all give a perception check as you wake up, though, before like when you just wake up. OK, that's going to be a 19 for old Peebus. Well, we got a plus zero to that, so that's a one. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. I got a 10. Awesome. Um, cool. So the only one to hear anything is Peebus. So. Um, and Peebus, you hear, uh, you can easily identify it. There is somewhere outside of your area, but close enough that you can hear it, a skeleton who has not died in the morning yet. Uh, you do not hear him on fire either. Okay. Um, so I peek out the little hole. And do where so what 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 exactly are the deets of what I see? Like, do I see? um forest? Um, there's a little like river. Um, you guys stopped nearby a river, so there's like a river a little bit up that you can see. Um, but you guys are like at the edge of a forest, essentially, like inside it still, but like at the edge of it. Okay. I guess you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna run out and just whack the shit out of this skeleton with my sword. Oh. Okay, everyone, please roll me initiative. Woo woo. Sorry, the other option was to wait for it to leave, and that's never gonna happen. Well, I got a <laughs> plus three to that, so that one's gonna be a whole five. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm on fire. fire. You are, dude. Just like this skelly. I got an eight. Uh, I'm rocking a fifteen. Cool. Um, so you do get um, a surprise round in because this skelly was not expecting that. Um, so go ahead and uh, swing to attack. Um, and that's going to be... Wow, my character is not a fighter. Oh, shit. This going to be a two to hit. Does a two hit an on-fire um, skeleton? No, skeleton is not on fire. Skeleton oh, it's not is on under fire. a okay. tree. Cool, yeah, no, um, the skeleton, uh, in fact, moves out of the way, last second sees you, moves out of the way, uh, and you do not hit him, he stays under the tree, though, and begins pulling his bowstring. Um, so, top of the round, Peebus. Uh, Peebus swings again. On the floor. Well, that's, that's not be, helpful. It's gonna be a real cool six. Once again, he's, he's, he's God moving, he's damn moving. It. He's a he's a smart skelly. Uh, so he's going to pull back his bow and he's going to swing at you. No! Um, I'm so sorry. He rolled really well. Um, he, oh, no! <laughs> he got a 22 to hit. Yeah, that's going to go ahead and goddamn do it. Yeah. That one would even hit Groki. <laughs> it would. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's eight piercing damage. Oh my god. <laughs> I rolled max damage! I got a seashell! Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Uh, that's gonna put Peebus at one health. I'm looking real ah. rough here, folks. Um, I'm so sorry. But you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna. Nothing for a sec, unless well, it's a reaction. Well, I guess nothing for a sec. Um, point of order? Yes. Uh, did he roll with disadvantage because he's using a bow up close? No. Nice. I forgot about that because I'm I'm in Minecraft mode. I'm in Minecraft mode too. Uh, that was that was I got an 18 and a 19. Okay. Okay. So I tried. Is, that uh, is gonna, thanks. With a plus Wait, for fair. it. Yeah. That's I'm a, so it's sorry. Fair. It's fair. It's fair. I was really hoping that would save. Uh, Peavis, but it, it, uh, in fact, did not. It actually would have hit worse. Yeah. Uh, you know. Well, not because it's disadvantage, but, you know. Um, all right. That brings us next to Grokey. Grokey, you are inside the cobblestone mess still. Um, all but right. you just, you just heard, I'm sure Peavis, what did Peavis, what noise did Peavis make when he got Pe hit? Peavis went, uh, 
Oh, boink. Yeah, so you just heard that? Uh, which, like, you're not quite sure what it is, but, uh, probably not amazing. No, probably not. So, yeah, I think all of a sudden Groki's gonna, like, stick a hand in their body, pull out their, uh, war hammer, and then just run to go and bonk the skeleton. Cool, please roll the bonk. That is going to be a 16 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Hey. All right. And that will be three points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Uh, Mr. Skeleton uh, turns his attention to you. Uh, and that brings us to Ray. I walk to uh, the door. I can see what's going on from the door. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, I take the step out if I need to. Uh, but they're within 120 feet, I assume, since it was one round yes. of movement. Yes. So I uh, will pull out my keyboard and type up uh, Prisoner's Ray's Eldritch Blast, which uh, I think it's a ray gun. I think nice. Skeleton just gets a ray gun this time. A All business right. ray gun. Ah, uh, where uh, is mine? Biz- business <laughs> Ray? I, I heard you, Okay, Eric. okay. I, I heard I, you. I got it. We got it. We just, you know, weren't it's, giving it. It's also their name. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good I'm job, Eric. Sure. Good job, Eric. So that's going to be a combined 24 business to hit. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Oh, for one whole force damage. One. Uh, one? Yeah. Yep. One. One on the die. I am so good at this. Cool. That's um, yeah, no. Um, it hits him. He does a good job hitting him. It hits him square in the chest. Uh, but he looks he looks pretty fine by it. Like, it, it just, you know, not bad. It took out, like, part of a rib. Yeah, just a piece. Um, <laughs> that brings us back to the top, Peebus. Well, uh, remember those remember those abilities that you sent me in 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 the chat? Yes. Does that I forgot to ask which one you picked. Uh, as of this very moment, I'm picking the second one. The non-villager trading related one. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll put that into effect now. <laughs> well, I mean, I attacked I, I was the only person around and oh, I that's attacked true. it. So, that's it would have been okay, anyways. Okay, good catch. Good catch. Good catch. Uh, and I guess, I mean, uh, fine. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cast, can I cast Healing Word on myself? Yes, I can. Uh, which is gonna give me 1d4 plus my spellcasting modifier, which is gonna be a real cool minimum amount of 4. Oh no! No, that's a plus 3, that's good. Yeah, it's a plus 3. You're gonna get 4 to 7. No, it was a one plus the three oh, to make it four. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was, that yeah, was after the roll of announcement. Um, so the skelly, hey. the skelly is going to actually look at um, Ray, who shot from a distance, and is gonna is gonna shoot it, shoot at Ray. I'm so sorry. You crit Ray. Ray's gonna go down. Ray. Ray's gonna go crit down. Ray. Hard. Ray has 8 HP. Well, um, we got 2d6 <laughs> plus 2. Could go either way. <laughs> That's exactly 8. Ray is down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's not what I meant to do after a long rest! <laughs> Alright, Groki. Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. How's the skeleton looking? A skeleton looking is looking pretty okay. The skeleton's been doing <laughs> good damage. I'm gonna just <sighs> for flavor, they pro they have an enchanted bow. It's not actually gonna be an enchanted bow in reality, but for flavor, it looks maybe it's enchanted, and that's why it's hitting so hard. All right, all right, I'll 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 attack the skeleton. We've got time. What, yeah. Even if you get a now, I I'm just I've got my lay on hands, but I want to obviously also minimize the danger, and so I'll hit this turn. I'll hit this turn and see if lay on hands is required at any point next turn. Uh, oh, that's a I don't think mm, bad roll. Does a ten hit? 
No, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm I should sorry. have gone with Lay on Hands. That would have been a guaranteed success. Um. Okay. Uh. Can I, Ray? Can I get a death save, please? <laughs> um. That's a four. So that's a fail. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> we got one fail, uh, ah. and that brings us to Peebus. Can I use healing word on a zero on a zeroed out? I think so. I can, that right? Tracks. That's, yeah. one, of the can, best uses, that's yeah. one of the best uses of it. I figured as much because it doesn't do much for actual healing, but it might. But you can do it at range, bonus action, get some. But like you can attack on the same turn you do it too because it's just a bonus oh, action. Oh, it is one bonus action. Shoot, I should have attacked. I meant to say there. that on your last turn too, but I got distracted. Sorry. Hey, hey, no, it's my, roll, it's my job to know my character. Attack. That's fine. No, it's all right. Well, okay. we, I don't well, care. Well, yeah, sure. I'm, I'll roll. I'm cool. I'm chill. I'll roll an extra attack. Well, I'll do it this turn, anyways. Um. God damn it! That's a two to yeah. not hit. I imagine. No. See? Ooh. Uh. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast um, healing word uh, for six healing points of heals for uh, you business right. Back up Ray. on six. Oh, I gotta get me some more spell slots. Jeez. <laughs> um, and go ahead and roll another um, attack for me. For are you sure? Okay. This yeah. Turn. yeah. Well, well, cause I'll tell you, unless you get full. You probably wouldn't take him down, and so I don't care. Uh, yeah, it's a seven. No, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I just can't hit anything today. Ah. Do you have a damage cantrip? No, I have light. That no. brings us to the skeleton who watched Ray fall, come back up. It is going to go for Ray again because Ray is at a distance and he has a bow. Uh, he still has disadvantage on the attack because a buddy's within five feet. Oh, he does? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right there. Because he's right there waving right the there. sword in his face. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. And I'm also right there. Uh, that's Double disadvantage. A <laughs> 16 to hit. With disadvantage? With disadvantage. I got a 12 oh, and a 13 um, on the die. He has a plus four. Oof. Gosh. Oh, we're going down again. <laughs> Gosh. Four damage, four piercing. Hey, he's up. He's up. Oh, he's still thank good. goodness. Okay. Thank yeah, goodness. there's not much we could have done about that. Rocky, was... it's your turn. Warhammer smash. I want to crush some bones. Uh, that is a. I always forget what I have to add, so I always have to navigate back to the character sheet. That is a twenty-two to hit. Yeah, that hits just Yay. a little bit. You know, maybe just just a, just a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> um and that is eight points of bludgeoning damage. Ah! Uh he goes from looking pretty okay to barely hanging on to life. Nice. Did I manage to crunch some bones in the process? <laughs> you crunched many bones. Um there's just nice. a few bones left to crunch, actually, maybe. Um uh, hey Ray, do you wanna crunch some bones? I would love to crunch some bones if uh, I believe it's a 15 plus, uh, yeah, for 15 hits. Yeah. That's eight damage, eight force damage. Uh, the skeleton collapses, disappears, and there is a bone left behind. Yay! Ooh. So does Ray prefer crunching bones or crunching numbers? Well, if they're not raised bones, pretty 50-50. <laughs> And I think that's a good place to call this episode. We got the skelly. We did <laughs> we got it. The skelly. Go team. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you so much for listening to episode three of Adventure SMP. We will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Have fun with your lives. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to episode three of Adventure SMP. It means the absolute world to me. 
I'm so excited that there are as many listeners as there are, because it is significantly more than I thought it'd be. Uh, But if you would like to connect with us on our handles, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at AdventureSMPPOD. AdventureSMPPOD. Uh, if you would like to support the show at either the two, five, ten, or fifteen dollar tier, uh, you can find us at patreon.com slash adventure S M P podcast. P O D C A S T. Um, thank you guys so, so much. Uh, it means the absolute world to me. I'm so excited. Um, in February. End of February, I'll give you a little hint. Um, there's there's something really, really cool that I'm excited for for the podcast. Um, it's it's ah I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I'm also looking into trying to get official character art for the characters. Um, and it's gonna take just a little bit just a little bit more money. So I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm hoping that will be soon-ish. I have been saving up using the patron money and a little bit of my own. Um, so if you want to help support that, every little bit counts. Um, but I want to, to take the rest of this here to thank our $15 patrons, our server gods. All of the support on Patreon means the world, but our server gods get a little shout out. So special shout out to Gun, Marissa, Mary, and Laura. Your support means the absolute world. And I can't wait to show you guys what comes next. Goodbye.